After installation, you can start Production Server and will open showing this grey window. At this point, it is required to create a new printer, which you can easily do by going into the menu Printer and select New. Before we continue, please note that at all times you can use the online help built into Production Server. The help is context sensitive. That means whenever you press F1 to open it, it will show the topic for the feature or module you are currently using. Going back to the printer installation, select the printer you want to install. The available models are determined by your license, so the list may be as short as one printer or it will show you more options. The process is identical for all devices. However, there may be certain small differences, for example, how the printer is connected to the PC. Press Next to continue to the next step. The next option is MIM import. MIMs are packages of quick sets that determine the relevant print mode options like color management, print speed, the usage of inks, and for DTG also options like white ink usage. MIMs can be downloaded from the ColorGate support site. You need to log in with the credentials you have created during registration to access the download area. You can either import the MIMS now or at any time later. MIM packages can also contain multiple options, for example, different presets for light and dark garments, different quality settings, or specific color management options. The next step configures the connection to the printer. This depends on the printer model and type. Most printers can be connected via network connection and require the correct IP address to connect. Some printers can also output files, like in this example. Select Path in order to create printable files instead of directly printing to the printer. Afterwards, you can choose different folders for the job archive, the hot folders, or also change the name of the printer. The latter is especially useful if you have more than one printer of the same type. Production server is using hot folders to apply settings to the jobs during loading. These settings determine how the printer will actually print the job. This can be a workflow setting, like directly processing and printing, job positioning, like center in X and Y direction, and of course, color management options using the MIM settings. Hot folder settings can be changed as well as new hot folders can be added later using the program options. The last step during the setup phase is the automated deletion of completed jobs, which can be set by number of jobs or after a certain amount of time. Once this is set up, press finish and the setup is complete. You can now start using production server and your printer.